Hi guys. So, in honor of World Storytelling Day, one day late, Manise writes tagged me on a question about sharing an early experience where I learned that language and stories had power. I think I always knew that stories were magic. I knew this because I was an awkward, lonely and oversensitive child who found refuge from the challenges of the world by reading voraciously. My inhibitions were often mischaracterized and as a result I was called a proudy which is exactly what it sounds like someone who's uh, arrogant and thinks too much of themselves. Actually that could not have been further from the truth because I never had the confidence to be a proudy. The only time that I could talk like a normal person was when I was telling a story because then the attention was on the protagonist or on the characters and I was just the vessel for the storytelling. So unsurprisingly, I became quite addicted to that. And weirdly enough, people actually liked me then. Some even thought I was cool. So yeah, stories had to be magic if they could make a shy, chubby little girl cool, however briefly. And like the books in which I, sh I sought shelter, my maternal grandmother, my nanu, was also magic. She was funny, sharp, creative, and very unpredictable. My short story, The Guava Tree Rebellion, is a kind of tribute to her. And she also taught me the value of storytelling. When she was in the mood, Nanu would draw the curtains against the bright afternoon light, and in the atmospheric darkness of her bedroom, she would have us cluster around her bed and she conjured up a series of scary stories about ghosts and demons and queens and heroes and commoners. We were mesmerized most of the time. For good measure, she would let her hand creep out of her sari and sometimes jab an invisible finger into the ribs of one of the children sitting there, causing them to shriek in panic and leading the rest of us to burst out in gales of laughter. I think it was an attempt to be like her, that, because my grandmother was fearless. She never had confidence issues or worried about who liked her or didn't. Um, so I think it was in an attempt to be like her that I started telling my stories. Although our genres are very different, fantasy is not my area and I will not touch horror stories with a barge ball. Still, decades later, I remember her very fondly. She died when I was really young, but she remains very, very vivid in my memory. And for anyone who's read The Guava Tree Rebellion, I think they would agree that uh, those memories are still very fresh in my mind. And most of all, I thank her for the gift that she perhaps unknowingly bequeathed me, which was her love of storytelling, uh, along with, rather less conveniently, her profound hatred of cockroaches. So, happy belated World Storytelling Day, and I hope all of you have a fantastic evening. Bye for now.